Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Zap 2.15 on Kali Linux 2024.4. First verify whether we have the Zap comes as a default application or not. So search for Zap. See, we don't have Zap. Okay. Go to Zap proxy dot was it enter. See here, Zap means Z attack proxy. It is the world's most widely used web app scanner. Free and open source and a community based github top 100 projects that anyone can contribute okay so click on download now or click on download now both are same so click on download see here we have the version zap 2.15 see here we have the zap 2.15 for windows linux mac cross platform packages okay so for kali linux we have to download this linux installer so click on download see download started and its size is 24 megabytes wait until download completes and also see here the prerequisites are windows and linux versions required java 11 or higher okay open terminal now verify java version see we have the latest version of java kali linux 2024 comes with open jdk 23 okay no need to install java okay prerequisite match wait for download completion see download is complete go to terminal cd downloads ls see here we have the zap executable file so you can't directly install ls hyphen ldrh see this is not executable so first we have to make it as executable ch mod plus x then give first three letters of zap file give the tab to autofill and hit enter now ls hyphen ldrh see color has been changed now it is executable so install it control l sudo dot forward slash then give the zap sh file with the tab hit enter now click on next i accept the agreement then click on next see here we have two types of installation standard and custom i'm going with custom installation for custom installation we can check select the options that we want so click on next see this is the default installation directory if you want to change you have to click on browse then you have to select the path then click on next create symlinks see symlinks will be created in this user local bin if you want to change select this browse and change okay so next if you want to create desktop icon select it otherwise unselect it and click on next see check for updates on startup i don't want so click on next see this is the installation summary so for okay with all the settings you can click on install or if you want to modify click on back and you can modify so click on next next see installation has been started see installation is complete now click on finish now go to applications then search for zap see here we have the Zap application click on it also remove this file see it is loading okay so ls Remove this file. We have successfully installed, so it is not required anymore. So we have cleared the space. Wait, it is going to load. See, do you want to persist the job session? Select the option that you want. So click on start. Let me maximize it. See, this is the job console. See here we have the automated scan, manual explorer, support, and many more options. Features are there. And if you want to see here, it is showing only these options. But if you want to show all tabs, you have to select here. See, here it is showing all the tabs. Okay. If you don't want, then. See here we have different modes. We are in standard mode, attack mode, pro protected mode, safe mode. If you want to see the pol scan policy manager, click on it. See, we have only default one. You want to add custom policy manage policy click on add then you have to select the options like client block browser and injection server security etc okay then you have to select click on okay then click on okay then you have to give the name for the tab i'm not going to do just i'm showing you. you can also import or export if you want to modify the existing one click on modify see this is the name this is the alert threshold etc options are there you can practice each of them if you want to generate report you have to click on generate report you have different options like if you want to open new session you have to click on here and i want to show you the version 
click on help about see we have installed zap version 2.15 so in this video we have seen how to download and install zap 2.15 on kali linux 2024 but the process is same on all kali linux version for more zap tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you